These Persian style lamb shanks will create a easy weekday meal or a special weekend treat. Using the power of the Instant Pot, it's as easy as throwing the lamb shanks in with some sauce and just pushing a button and relaxing for a couple of hours. To get started, you're going to be using four lamb shanks. Unfortunately, the butcher only had three, so I ended up using a lamb shoulder cut as well. You're going to be using a one whole onion, chopped, as well as a tablespoon of garlic, about three cloves worth. You're also gonna be using about a tablespoon of tomato paste, about a cup of red wine, which will help to deglaze the pan and create wonderful flavors as well. The spice mix you're using is called Adve. It's a Persian style garam masala kind of spice mix. You're gonna be using some rose water, as well as honey to sweeten up the dish some. I also use these wonderful pomegranate seeds, which are both a little bit of sour and a little bit of sweet. And at the end, you're going to be using half cilantro and half chopped parsley, which you'll be adding into the sauce as well as the dish itself, and then finishing off with some lemon juice. So to get started, you're going to heat up the Instant Pot using the saute function. Wait till it gets really hot. You're going to add some canola oil into the pan and then make sure to heavily salt and pepper the lamb shanks and then just put them in the pot. You should be able to squeeze all four shanks in there or in this case, three shanks in the shoulder and you're gonna cook it for about six minutes aside. After this six minutes, you're gonna end up flipping the lamb shanks over and cook six minutes on the other side. This will just help to get the um, outside nice and brown, nice caramel color to it, which is what you're, um, what you're looking for with these lamb shanks. So as you can see, I just flip them over, get that nice color on there, make sure that they, as much of the um, lamb as possible is touching the bottom of the pan when searing to get that nice color evenly distributed throughout the lamb shank. So now at this point, I'm taking them out. They've been in there for about 10 minutes. You can see there's a nice, beautiful brown color at the bottom of the Instant Pot. So I'm going to, at this point, pull this out with my hand to show how tough I am. And ow, ow, hot, hot, hot. Okay, hot, hot, hot. Not sure why I did that, but anyway, throw in the onion. And at this point, you're gonna just use a um, wooden spoon and really scrape up the bottom of the uh, Instant Pot. What I try to do is if there are any black pieces, try to take them out with the wooden spoon. And um, you know that way you don't have these big black chunks in there. Once the onion has been cooking for a few minutes, uh, it will become nice and translucent. And at this point, I'm gonna add the garlic. Keep stirring it around once the garlic is in there. And what you may have to do is turn off the Instant Pot and return it back on, because you don't wanna burn anything. And unfortunately with the Instant Pot, it just kind of keeps cooking hot. At this point, I'm moving over the onions and the garlic to the side, and I wanna add the spice mix right in the middle, and we're gonna fry it for about a minute or so, and frying the uh, spice mix just helps to release a lot of the uh, beautiful, fragrant kind of spices in there. A lot of earthy spices make up the Adve um, cinnamon, uh, clove, there's some cumin, coriander, things like that. I think it's one of those things that all different families make it differently. So uh, just, you know, pick it up at the spice store if you can. If you can't find Adve, you know, something like Karam Masala is a pretty good substitute or just look online and they have a bunch of different recipes. You can make your own kind of spice mix. Um, at this point, I've added the tomato paste as well to the bottom of the pan and I'm gonna deglaze it with a cup of red wine. And what this will do is this just helps to loosen up all the, um, the stuff that may still be stuck at the bottom. So you're just gonna kind of give it a good stir, keep stirring it around, scrape the onions from the side of the bowl as well, get everything incorporated in there. And at this point, I'm gonna start building up my sauce. I'm adding the pomegranate seeds, a quarter cup, keep stirring um, that around as well. And to that, I'm gonna start adding the rose water Putting that in there, stir it around again. A little sweetness at this point, so I'm adding the honey. And the honey will also work as a thickening agent to the sauce a little bit, as well as providing it with a little bit of sweetness. So at this point, 
the sauce has been made. So now I'm just sticking the lamb shanks and the shoulder back into the sauce. You don't want to have to submerge the entire thing. You want it about halfway up the edge. This way the top of the shanks will get a little more colored to them and it won't get tough or chewy at all. And I'm actually going to end up cooking these for about an hour and a half, which is usually more than I usually do for cuts of meat, but with the bones in there and shanks are usually a pretty tough cut. So I want to make sure it gets really soft. So once the time's done, do a slow release or a fast release, it doesn't really matter. And then taking them out, be sure that the meat is still on the bones. You don't want it falling off completely because when I serve these, I like to serve the entire shank um, per person. So once you uh, take out all four pieces, you're basically going to then drain the fat from the top, skim it off with a spoon. If you can, get as much of the fat out as possible. And once all the uh, fat has been removed, you're gonna create a slurry of cornstarch and water. You can see it helps to really thicken up the sauce. So after you make your slurry, you're just gonna finish off the dish by adding the fresh herbs, as well as about a tablespoon or two of lemon juice, which just helps brighten up all the other flavors. You can also add some salt and pepper now. And you can see this, I served it on a bed of rice with some fresh lemons to squeeze on there as well, and a salad at the background there, and of course, a glass of red wine. Thanks so much, guys, for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and looking forward to producing some more videos coming up shortly. Have a great day. Thanks.